Welcome back to Not Talk About Mark and Mark here as your host. We're going to go straight to our Raptors topic. James, what do we have? So, Lowry's injury. So, what, do you think that was intentional or? Uh, no, I don't think it was intentional. I think tall dudes are just super clumsy. Yeah. And they look like just, you know, like, All over the place. like yeah. ogres just falling over, you know. So, I, I don't think it was intentional. And, um, yeah, with Lowry... We kind of know that this is going to happen yeah. with Kyle. He's injury prone. <laughs> yeah. He's 33, 34 years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, uh, I want to just see Kyle Lowry in the playoffs. That's yeah. Because when Kyle Lowry is playing at an all-star level, when he's you know, 22 points, mm -hmm. 10 assists, mm -hmm. this team is, is really, yeah. really good. Thank so um, maybe it's, it's kind of good that he's resting mm -hmm. yeah. in time for the playoffs. Yeah. And it, it came at a good time because yeah. Van Fleet just came back yes. in as well. Yeah. Yeah. And this will give uh, Jerry Millen a chance to kind of get accustomed to the team because he's been struggling mm -hmm. to shoot the basketball. Yeah. He's been uh, still trying to get accustomed to the and adjusting to the to the way Nick Nurse coaches. And he's a good pick and roll player, and this is his chance because without Lowry, no, they're gonna need someone to handle the basketball, and this is his chance to kind of have this time to adjust and get accustomed. So then when playoff time comes in and Lowry's yeah. back, he's more. Uh, adjusted more comfortable in the way we play and then he comes off the bench and he can provide a spark for us which we yeah. need in the playoffs yeah I agree I, I think the Lynn uh, acquisition is huge yeah because uh, the thing I love about Jeremy Lynn is he's not afraid of the big stage mm -hmm. like he has the experience so he's somebody who's not gonna like really turn over the ball or make bad decisions yeah. mm -hmm. yes he's been struggling with shooting yeah. but that's gonna come yeah. He's, you know, you're playing with a whole bunch of new guys. You're yeah. playing with the Atlanta Hawks. Yeah. You have zero chance of making the playoffs, and then yeah. suddenly you make the, yeah. you know, you have a chance to make the finals. Yeah, you have the chance yeah. to, yeah, be yeah. a championship team. So yeah. uh, give him some time. I think yeah. it's a, a great pick. Yeah, he had 22 mm -hmm. points against the Knicks. And yeah, stuff like that, yeah. So. yeah. So he's coming along, yeah. and I like his addition because it allows. Fred Van Fleet to kind of be in the position where he's best at, which is a catch and shoot yeah. off the dribble when he doesn't have to think about setting players because I don't think that's his strength. His strength was more of a scorer off the bench kind of player. Mm -hmm. And Jeremy Lin will kind of allow to be the ball handler, to be the person that kind of yeah. runs the pick and roll and kind of sets everybody up, which is, I think, what he, uh, is best for Van Fleet instead of being that main mm -hmm. guy to score it. I think he's a shooting guard in a point guard's body. For sure. So it's good off the bench when you have those two coming in and you're going to have spark off Van Fleet and they have a guy that can run the pick and roll besides Lowry. Yeah. So. Agree. Yeah. You kind of need that for someone... If you play against Detroit or something like that, you need something off the bench. Which, yeah. which is yeah. actually what's something I wanted to bring up. Yeah. Are we, um, should we be concerned if we possibly face Detroit? Because the last few games that we had, like, uh, we lost to Detroit. And, and do you think it's a bad matchup for us to face them at the first round? Because Just because Blake, Drummond, those are pretty dangerous combination to have at the... Uh, right. Where's Jonas Valanciunas? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when you need him. <laughs> um, yeah. But... Uh, yeah, Raptor fans, you, you should be scared. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dwayne Casey was uh, Nick Nurse's superior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think there's anything that Nick Nurse is going to do that Dwayne Casey is going to be like, oh, yeah. I didn't expect that one to come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I still think we win it, mm -hmm. but it's going to be stressful. I'm going to get gray hairs. Yeah. Uh, we're we're going to have a hard time watching that series because I can see. Uh, the Raptors winning two, yeah. the Pistons winning two at home, yeah. and then it going to six or seven games. So yeah. Yeah. I'd like to get the Brooklyn Nets yeah. that, that would be if I had a choice, <laughs> yeah. uh, even though they're a little scary. Yeah. Yeah. They're young, they're inexperienced. I yeah, don't really believe the thing, in yeah. them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if it's the Pistons, it's this gonna be really a stressful really. series. I think the struggle yeah. for uh, Raptors against Pistons is uh, Blake Griffin. I don't think Siakam can guard him because Siakam is pretty, like he's slim. strong but yeah. Yeah. slim, right? Yeah. But yeah, we should be worried, but when it comes to Dwayne Casey, he always he always choke in the playoffs. Yeah, something about Dwayne. I don't think he's re, he's a good season coach. Yeah, but I don't think he's like a great coach when it comes to playoffs. Yes, uh, I. I would give you a high five. If yeah. I yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Casey, yeah. get out of here. Okay. Like for like for real. Like when, when it comes to Casey, just watch Game Seven of. A Nets against Raptors. The last ten seconds. Right. This guy draw drew a play. On the other side of the court. <laughs> yeah. And then what happened was Kyle Lowry went down the middle and got yeah. blocked by Paul yep, Pierce because he, he drew the different play from yeah. the other court. And he called timeouts when uh, DeRozan made a three-point shot, game-winning three-point shot. He yeah. called timeout. So those kind of things, like you see that a lot with Dan Casey. But like he said before with Nick Nurse, he, 
he makes a ju- Nick Nurse is still rookie coach. Right. He has that jitters, but he makes adjustment. That's what mm-hmm. I like about oh, seeing him. I mean, we yeah. can probably talk a whole episode about yeah. just Dwayne Casey and yeah. all the all the things we hate about <laughs> how rigid he, did. he was as a coach. Yeah. Like yeah. it's funny because yeah. we got swept by I want to say the Wizards. We got yeah. swept, yeah. and everyone's like, "Fire him, fire yeah. him!" And then when he gets fired, it's like, "Oh no, no, we love Dwayne yeah. Casey." Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, there's so many mistakes, but I'll, I'll give you my favorite mistake was I think it was in Cleveland, mm-hmm. uh, and they put New- Lucas Nogueira in. Yeah. Yeah. And this, he was like a deer in the headlights. He had yeah. no idea what yeah. was going on. It was yeah. the worst two minutes of basketball yeah. if you have I've Kevin ever Love seen. There, you will eat that. But what do you, yeah. what's, you know, this isn't yeah. like the regular season. Yeah. Like this is the playoffs. Yeah. Like you're, you're, you're fighting for survival, yeah. and you're going to put in a guy. I don't think he plays in the NBA anymore. Yeah. So, <laughs> what are you expecting out of Nick Nurse and t- come playoff time? Because this is going to be. His first time really as a head coach coming into the past. What are you expecting from him? Uh, I don't expect perfection. Yeah. Uh, I expect even our first round, we might lose two games. Yeah. I still think we get through. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can see mistakes happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now, to his credit, two D-League championships. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. been coaching for many, many years. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I believe he can take us to the finals. Yeah. I really think that. Mm-hmm. But... It's not going to be easy, oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. we're going to see a mistake. And I promise you, Raptor fans are going to freak out. Like yeah. we need a new coach now. Yeah, mm-hmm. you they would say we want Dwayne Casey. The yeah. thing about <laughs> Detroit, the reason why they made the playoffs last year, they almost made the playoffs because Blake, Blake Griffin came in January right. when they mm-hmm. traded him. Halfway yeah. this time, they have Blake Griffin the, the whole, whole time, yeah. and they're barely making the playoffs. And people think he's like, oh, he's a really good coach. He's a good season coach. He's good at developing players. He knows how to put players, uh, when it comes to playing a game, he will put like a bench player who doesn't play and they end up being good. Yeah. But when it comes to playoffs, because if you do the same thing over and over again in season, the team watches that. Yeah. They will do the scouting and all that stuff. So if you do that in the playoffs, they already know your next play. Yeah, it's the inability yeah. to, to make adjustments yeah. on the fly. Like he, uh, yeah. there was one play, and I hate to go back to it, but it was like <laughs> it was like a nightmare. Like yeah. Kevin Love was posting up somebody, yeah. like three straight, four possess- yeah, yeah, four, four yeah. straight, and he just kept like it was so easy, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. like no one's making an adjustment. Yeah. Like there's no timeout. There's like hey double yeah. or like nothing. It just mm-hmm. it was like watching uh, like a like a youth basketball game, yeah. and they just give it to the big kid, and you yeah. don't do anything about it. So, exactly. anyways, I can go on forever. <laughs> but in, in conclusion, I think what we like. The most about Nick Nurse is his ability to make adjustment, and I think it's going to be exciting to see how he's going to be doing in the playoffs. And to end the segment, I mean, we had so much more to talk about the Raptors, but unfortunately, this is the end of our segment. But before we end our show, any last words you guys want to say, James? Maybe anything you want to say to our fans and audience before we end our show? Um, just go to PinoyCrossover.ca. Uh, I'm going to post uh, a blog about Len Bias, who died two days after he got drafted. So yeah, just check out the blog this Saturday. Awesome. Yeah. And Jesse, any last words? Our camera's right there. Any, any oh, shout bam, outs? bam, bam, bam. <laughs> this is your camera right <laughs> yeah, here. That one yep. right there. See um, your shout out. <laughs> just, uh, well, from the first segment, yeah. you know, um, as an entrepreneur and somebody uh, who just, I, I just made a decision that this is what I want to do, mm-hmm. just put in the work like ridiculous work. You have to wake up before everyone else wakes up. Mm-hmm. Um, people will notice and the opportunities will come. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's my message. Mm-hmm. If there's anything I would put on my grave or on my tombstone, mm-hmm. that will be it, <laughs> okay? And uh, play Mega City Basketball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where can they find you? Give us your social, uh, um, where can they find Definitely, you? Definitely, um, yeah. on Instagram, Mega City Basketball, uh, myself, uh, Mega City CEO, uh, megacitybasketball.com. Awesome. And as always, guys, you can always follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinot Crossover. Thank you guys for following us and commenting and sharing our stuff because we really enjoy our interaction with you guys on social media. And other than that, stay balling, everybody.